Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Elizabeth and I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying your May so far. It's been okay weather around here. It's pretty much been really beautiful with 70 degree weather and then we have a lot of rainy days. Um, I just wanted to take a quick minute to say I appreciate all of you and thank you so much. I'm glad everybody was bearing with me. I did not have an upload last Friday. I was really sick. I was actually out of work for a few days per my doctor with a really bad GI illness she finally cleared me to go back later last week but I just didn't have it in me to film a video and I really needed that time to recover so today's video we are focusing on disinfecting almost everything on the first floor and also cleaning so if you need that motivation maybe you've been sick as well please consider giving the video a thumbs up and subscribing So I had wanted to take a quick minute to introduce myself. My name is Sarah Elizabeth. I am a full-time registered nurse working Monday through Friday. I am a mom and very new to YouTube, but absolutely loving it so far. I do love to clean and organize. That is mainly what my channel is about. So you guys will find that motivation here. Um, something I enjoy doing, something to help me de-stress and kind of just calm my mind as well. Uh, but I hope it gives you guys the motivation and first and foremost, welcome i hope you find this place to be a little bit peaceful and hopefully <laughs> a place where you could just be yourself so please introduce yourself down below let me know where you're watching from So I really wanted to concentrate on the sink here. So again, I'm going in with the Clorox bleach uh, spray just to kind of let everything sit so I could scrub it down. And I went in with the Dawn Power Wash because it seems to work really well. I've not cleaned my sink out in probably close to two weeks now, maybe a little bit longer. So it absolutely needed it. Um, I went in with a Scrub Mommy brush because I, I, I really do like those, or sponge I should say. Um, it has a good amount of power behind it. It doesn't really scratch the sink or anything like that. So I could definitely highly suggest that. Um, but I was so happy to finally get the house back in order, especially the kitchen, because like I said, we spend a good chunk of our time there. So I want it to be clean. I want it to be disinfected and just feel like everything's in place. Um, so I was absolutely happy to get this done. <laughs>
So my husband kind of took over while I was sick and doing a lot of the cooking and just for me hydrating. I mean, I really didn't eat all that much. Mostly I couldn't keep anything down. Um, whatever I took in was going to come back out one way or another. So things got messy. The stove had not been cleaned probably in three weeks now. So it was nice to be able to get this done, but still not to where I'd like it to be. Um, but that's okay. I was able to focus on this on this particular night and all my cleaning. You guys will see the first floor done. This is done over you know, a few days, probably two or three days, just because I didn't have the time and I really honestly don't have the energy to get everything done in one night. Um, it's been really, really busy on my end since going back to work for me catching up on screenings, which are almost officially done, as well as catching up on case management. I have a lot of ortho injuries for my kiddos, just a lot transpiring. Today was busy in and of itself. We were missing a staff member. A lot of my coworkers are taking their personal days. I'm gonna be taking my personal days in June. So really, we're wrapping it up for the end of the year. So when I get home, my energy is slim to none. Um, but I'm happy I was able to get my heavy hitter items disinfected and just get it back to where it needs to be so I can maintain it. So one of the things you guys see me doing here is actually wiping down the garbage pail. Um, it just really needed to be disinfected and oftentimes when we change out the garbage we usually spray the inside with some Lysol or quickly wipe it down if it's really really bad. But I like to give the outside a quick wipe because my son is all over everything. He does like opening and closing the trash can so his hands are touching that constantly. So I do like to disinfect that and splatters get there. I mean we're, we're messy when we're working in the kitchen, I'm not going to lie. So it's a good idea to do that if it's not something you do often or if you've been sick or just in general if you have toddlers. I think a lot of people forget about the garbage cans or maybe you just have a disposal in the sink, which if you do, lucky you. Um, <laughs> but for the garbage cans, it's just a good idea. Maybe Lysol or just wipe it down every now and then. So my coffee station needed some love. I do my coffee every single morning. Let me know down below, are you more of a hot coffee or an iced coffee type of person? 
for me. I really do love both, but I do start off my morning, typically speaking, um, with a hot coffee, even in the summer. Occasionally, if I'm craving something cold, fine, but these get used pretty frequently. One of my next videos, I'm going to probably show my top five items um, that people forget to clean or don't clean as frequently that you should be cleaning. And I'm going to tell you the Keurig is going to be one of them. It's amazing to me how many people just keep refilling the water. They don't run it with the, um, the vinegar. That's what I've been taught to do, what a lot of my co-workers have done just to clean out the tubing and stuff like that. But there's a few different items I'm going to have in my um, next video upcoming that people just forget to do and it's a good idea to clean and disinfect a couple of times a year. And the Keurig is definitely one of them, so I do highly suggest that again. If you notice maybe the coffee's not tasting as good, something seems off, try giving it a good clean. I think it'll definitely improve it for you. So this is actually day two. You guys may not know that because I'm in the same outfit and you'll see me in the same outfit on the next day just because I have something easy to throw on after work. But I focused on a few different areas, like I said, over the three days. The hallway, again, there's a lot of traffic in and out. That's our main transition area. So there were a ton of crumbs, just a lot of dust. So I really just wanted to give this a quick clean. Um, my concentration really in this area was the floor. So being able to vacuum and wash it was huge. Like I said, a lot of people in and out. Um, what's not featured on my video when I was recording is me kind of like sawing the doorknobs. It's another thing I do fairly frequently, especially where I'm sick or we have a lot of people in and out of the house. And as you guys can see, my door is still there yet again, yet again, I do not have my door. Um, we were supposed to get it the Saturday, the Saturday before Mother's Day. However, um, we're expecting a ton of rain in our area, so we moved it to the following Saturday. I feel like I'm never going to get my door at this point, but really we're just looking to get it done and over with. It needs to be replaced. It's just one of those things. You've been waiting on it for two years and it seems like something keeps coming up. I was hoping for that to be my Mother's Day gift, but apparently I'm going to have to wait another week, so I will call it my late springtime gift. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Nothing can break me, nothing can break me Try not to hold 
So this is the same day with me cleaning the bathroom. It's just after I took a shower and honestly, I wasn't feeling like doing anything. I had to put on some cleaning motivation for myself just because I've been tired, but I really wanted to clean this bathroom, honestly. Between me being on the couch and using the bathroom during my sick days, I really needed to clean this. And I don't know if you can totally tell in the video, but it was pretty grungy. Um, so I did use gloves for this and I sprayed it down and just kind of wiped it up with some paper towels and stuff like that and the paper towels were just like that horrible yellow after but I highly suggest that if you have a GI illness or you know anything where you've been vomiting and that you, you want to focus on your bathrooms especially if you have other members of the family in there and you guys can see that the bowl just looks dirty so for that I prefer heavy duty cleaners especially after illness so the Clorox with bleach uh, works really well sometimes I use the Clorox wipes so just spraying everything down if you really want it to sanitize it really well you want to let it sit for a little bit last time I did that it kind of dis it made like a discoloration of the um, toilet lid and you guys can see that in the video but nonetheless I really wanted to make sure that this was clean because my husband's and you know I have my parents my in-laws who come in and use this bathroom as well when they visit so this bathroom is always a priority and again just to kind of get everything reset in that sense where hopefully I'm killing off those germs and making sure that illness does not rear its head again. So this crazy mess is my living room. What a mess. It's been a mess. It's just kind of accumulated. I didn't have the energy to really take care of it. There's been crumbs everywhere. Um, we got rid of the carpet and I'm not even sure last video that I took down here if you, the carpet was still there or not. My son ended up vomiting really badly on the carpet. We tried our best to get it out even with the cleaner and it just the smell wouldn't go away. It was really heavily soiled. And we were kind of debating on getting a new carpet anyway, so we got rid of it. But this is kind of, you know, the downside to it with the flooring. You see everything, the crumbs, all that good stuff. Um, so you have to be on top of it a lot more. Eventually, I'd like to invest in a Roomba, so that'll be probably be a gift to myself later on this year, maybe for Christmas or something like that. And I think it'll definitely benefit my family because even myself and my husband, we're guilty of dropping crumbs and stuff like that too. And now that we're heading into summer, like we don't want ants. We've had ants before. 
I worry about that with my son because, you know, messy eater or he's snacking on the go. So I am a little bit fearful of that. So I wanted to make sure that this room got done and this is the one room I do like to keep on top of. I know I say that with the kitchen too. I have tasks every day that I like to do, but the living room especially, I like to vacuum often because my fear of ants is real. I don't want them in the house. I don't want them crawling upstairs. They're a pain in the butt to get rid of. I don't know if it's ants everywhere, if it's New England ants and they're just stubborn. Like, I don't know. But I don't want them in the house, so definitely this is the one area in my home I keep up with probably, I would say every two days I'm vacuuming. So I'm interested to see from my friends out there, leave me a comment down below. What are your plans for June, for summer upcoming? Do you guys have anything to kick off the summer? Do you kick it off on Memorial Day with a barbecue? Just looking for some ideas and looking to see what people like to do across the country. I know out here in New England it's pretty common. We do a barbecue, we have a get together, you know, maybe a few drinks, lemonade, beer, etc. Um, and it's just really that nice time with family and friends. Um, it kind of reminds me of the 4th of July, just, you know, a little bit more low-key. I personally love the 4th of July, so I'm very much looking forward to that this year. It's one of my favorite holidays. It's right behind Thanksgiving and then New Year's. It's my top three. Those are my top three. Um, but what are your plans for summer? What have you started to do for your home for the summer? Please let me know down below. So for me, washing the floors is really important. As you can see, my son is trying to help out with a little feather duster. But after having back in the living room, washing it and just getting it tidied up to where it needs to be is really important to me. And this is what it looks like after. It looks way more put together. Um, something I always like to do and what I recommend to people who have couches or little ones, dogs, etc. 
move your couches out of the way really back and behind there if you have wooden floors laminate whatever make sure that you're washing it fairly frequently too you'd be amazed at what like accumulates there and i'm sure that you saw like the amount of crumbs and dust and things and when i moved my couch i was kind of in shock i wasn't expecting all that behind there but it does tend to hide there and the other section it tends to hide is in my son's play area on the carpet there was a ton of crumbs, of course, in Snowflake's area, a ton of feathers. So just a good idea, you know, to give it a quick back and give it a quick wash. And again, something I do a lot more in the summer because we have a lot of traffic in and out and we're outside a lot more. to the good days, here's to the sorrows, if this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow, I don't want to fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no, just want to make it stop, maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road, right now it doesn't even matter, it's too late to let it go and that's why I wish you the best and say goodbye you start to get dressed and then we cry cause we both know it's gonna hurt but not as much as this does we had a good run don't say we didn't I was your first love and you were my first one Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah, promise I won't forget. So in addition to vacuuming and, you know, washing the floors, getting the area pretty much all set, I did want to go ahead and disinfect some of Logan's more heavily played with toys. I don't have it on camera, but we did disinfect the toys um, in his little bin there, the superhero bin, not that long ago, so I wasn't as worried about that, but the toys that he has in his tent, a lot of it he's chewing on, like he's hitting things with. He, he had baked on crumbs, I hate to say that, I don't even want to call it baked on, but there, there was some heavy dirt on there so this is why I focused on these few items especially the barn he's been really into animals and farm animals but again he's you know has his hands in his mouth he's touching things doesn't know the best about hygiene I mean he's not even two yet he will be in August but again chewing on everything so this needs to be disinfected and what I use for this is the Lysol wipes they're typically my favorite to give everything a quick refresh but this is you know something I needed to do just to prevent him from getting sick too that's always my goal because he does get sick quite frequently especially being at the daycare so if you have toddlers if you have kids many of you probably do this already but if you haven't maybe in a long time go ahead and just maybe soak the toys in warm soapy water or if you're a fan of Lysol wipes give that a quick wipe because I think it works rather well um, but I tend to do this um, usually at night when my son's asleep it's just a lot easier but this was the last thing I did on this particular night And this has brought us to the end of the video. So I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys sticking to, uh, with me toward the end. Um, so if you're like me and needed to get things done and disinfected, I hope it gave you that motivation. I hope nobody is sick out there, but if you are, I hope you feel better soon. And I will see you in my next video on Friday. Bye. to the good days, is to the sorrows.